The Toronto Blue Jays are heading to the playoffs. They officially clinched a playoff spot on Thursday, an off day for the team, when the Boston Red Sox, who the Toronto Blue Jays are hosting tonight here at the Rogers Centre, beat Baltimore. This marks just the fourth time in three decades the Blue Jays are going to the playoffs. I had a chance to speak to Vladdy Guerrero Jr. about the unique circumstances surrounding the team entering the playoffs. A unique way to clinch a playoff spot on an off day. Where were you? What were you doing? Well, I was in the house watching the game of Baltimore and Boston. I think, obviously, I saw the last one and celebrated as if we had been the ones who won. I think, obviously, I felt very happy to share it with the family and see the game with the family. Yeah, I was in my, my house with the family, uh, obviously watching the game between the Orioles and uh, Boston. And, uh, once I saw the, the last out, I celebrated myself with, with my family. We were, we were very happy. In 2020, when you clinched, there was no fans. 2021, so close, but now it's a day later, but you're able to celebrate with fans and here in Toronto. What does that mean to you? Bueno, para mí significa bastante. Yo creo que obviamente poder poder disfrutar lo, con los fanáticos, con mi compañero, para mí es bastante bastante especial y me siento muy orgulloso de, de que estemos aquí en una posición como esta. I mean, it, it means a lot to me. I mean, the, the, for me to be able to celebrate it with my teammates, of course, with the fans, with the city, it, I, I feel very proud of myself that we're in, a, in, a, in the position that we are right now. I want to talk about a moment that happened this week with you. You're the Gatorade king. You're always showering everyone with Gatorade, but you were part of that huge celebration in the field. What was that moment like for you? Bueno, yo me siento contento. Tú sabes que obviamente yo soy de la persona que que siempre está echando agua y, y siempre el momento le toca a uno y yo creo que eh, eh, me tiraron más de más de un boque pero me sentí muy bien. Yeah, I mean it was fun. I was very happy. You know, I'm the, I'm the kind of person the I mean the the one that throw the water to everyone. But it was my moment, I guess. Last thing I want to ask you about is your pregame ritual. You're always throwing baseballs into the stands. What's the furthest that you've got it into the 500 level? Ya ve que en pregame tú siempre estás tirando bola para los stands. Quieres saber más o menos hasta qué es lo más lejos que la tiró. No, yo la puedo llegar hasta allá arriba. Lo único que siempre me la piden en el segundo piso, a veces en el último, pero siempre donde ellos me la pidan, ahí yo la tiro. I mean, I think I can reach to the very top. Uh, but it's around the second one, second deck, that everybody asking for a ball for anywhere. Anywhere they ask me if I can reach there, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it over there. Because the Toronto Blue Jays clinched a playoff spot in an off day, they weren't able to have that celebration in the clubhouse after. We've seen those photos over the years with champagne, but they're doing that tonight after they play the Boston Red Sox, and we will be in the clubhouse getting interviews for you. You can watch them tonight on City News at 11.